Reasons for Starting Artificial Nursing At the Higashi Ayama Zoological and Botanical Gardens, we began our first gorilla reintroduction effort in Japan. Annie was born in June 2013, but she was debilitated because her mother I could not breastfeed her properly. Therefore, a caretaker decided to raise Annie. But threat was a problem. When gorillas are raised by humans, they cannot recognize as gorillas, and they will never be able to return to a gorilla family group again. Therefore, the zoo made plans to return Annie to the group by the time she turned 1.5 years of age. Various Approaches The first step to returning Annie to the group involved the caretaker wearing an apron similar to the gorilla's coat when in contact with Annie, mimicking her mother. Because there is no dedicated milk for gorillas, milk for human babies was given every day, and medicine for human use was administered when needed. From day 12 after her birth, Annie started to view other gorillas through a grid every day to become accustomed their appearance. In addition, the caretaker took Annie to the playground and the other gorillas' rooms when there were no other gorillas present. By doing so, Annie learned the smell of other gorillas, and became accustomed to their living environment. Approach for getting Annie to live with her family The caretaker decided to make Annie live with her mother I one year after her birth. At first, Annie did not want to enter her mother's room. However, I hugged Annie after two days, and after three weeks they remained together all day. Next, Annie needed to get used to living with both I and her father Shabani. In the begging, Annie was afraid of the large-bodied Shabani, and stayed in the corner of the room. When she gradually realized that Shabani was not threatening, Annie came closer. At the age of one year and five months, Nene and Kiyamasa joined together, and all five family members finally began living together. Current Situation after much effort, we successfully conducted our first reintroduction effort in Japan, return gorillas raised by artificial nursing to a gorilla family group. Gorillas are designated as endangered species because their population is decreasing. Under these circumstances, in the Higashiyama Zoo and Botanical Gardens, five gorillas live together as they would in the wild. Annie is now full grown and living freely and we encourage all come and see her. I would like to add something that happened in addition to the description of this video of Higashi Ayamazu. An incident occurs on the day Annie starts living with her whole family. Kiyamasa takes away Annie's precious white towel. When Annie tried to take the white towel back from him, his mother Nene saw Annie and attacked her with her body. At that moment, Shabani, the silverback, rammed Nene and protected Annie. Nene was probably trying to protect her own child, Kiyamasa, and did not mean any harm. But Annie did not want to see anyone for some time after that day. I don't know if Shabani was protecting Annie as a father or as a pack leader, but I believe that there is a special bond between Shabani and Annie. 